This is the first in a series of do-it-yourself videos from the yachtshop.biz. We will be showing you projects we have completed in our shop, along with tools, techniques, and materials used to make it all happen. The projects will cover repairs, restorations, and renovations. Fully detailed DVDs for each project will be available in the near future. We hope you enjoy and learn as we have over the past 35 years. These are a few of the basic measuring tools you'll need in most of your projects. A pair of 12 inch fixed squares, an adjustable combination square, a folding rule, great for inside measurements, a 12 foot tape, great for outside measurements, a protractor and a compass, great for measuring inside and outside angles and drawing accurate circles, contour gauges that you can cut out of cardboard or plywood, they're great to measure your inside and outside radiuses accurately, and an adjustable contour gauge that you can just push up against the object and get almost an exact duplicate of its shape, which can easily be transferred to most of your drawings. This is the cockpit we'll be working in today. It's in a very popular Catalina 30. The grate will be built in two parts for easy removal. First, we'll measure the side end and corner radiuses and find that the one inch gauge fits best. This will be the bottom edge of the grate. Next we'll measure the edge angle on the sides and front with our protractor. Set two one inch thick blocks in the corners to raise the folding rule above the radius for a more accurate measurement from side to side. Be sure that you butt the tape up against both sides, making it a snug fit. With the folding rule in place, extend the brass extension tip and then add the main rule and extended tip together and you'll have a very accurate inside measurement. Next you'll need to measure the location of the stanchion bases and the helm base from the forward end of the grate. We are going to divide this grate right behind the stanchion base so that it can be easily removed in two pieces. Put some tape down right behind the stanchion base and mark where you want the break to be. Be sure the marks are square to the front end of the grate. The helm base cutout will be on the aft half of the grate. Measure the width at the marks behind the stanchion bases. Also measure the location of the stanchion bases from side to side in the cockpit and do the same with the helm base. Also measure the diameter of the helm base this time with your compass. Next we'll measure from the aft end of the grate to the brake line on both sides of the helm to be sure the line is square. Then we'll measure the width at the aft end of the grate. Now we can use the adjustable contour gauge to measure the tiller cutout. Save the contour, you'll need it for your pattern later. Then we'll check the radiuses in the corners with a one inch radius gauge. Finally, we can measure from the tiller bump to the helm base edge. Now that we have all of our important measurements, we can transfer them to a full-size pattern. This is a full-size pattern we have started so you can see how important all your accurate measurements are going to be. We use a product called Foam Core for most of our patterns because all the lines and information show up very well on the white surface. The material is also quite rigid and can be used to test fit into the project area after it's trimmed to shape. Once you have drawn out your pattern, you can easily visualize how your finished product will look and you can make any adjustments before you make any cuts in that very expensive teak. Actually making a truly fine fitting grade is a very methodical and time consuming process. Pay attention to the details and your project will come out looking really beautiful.